Yeah. Okay guys, welcome to Martin Motorsport and we are back at Murray Bridge Speedway. It's the 9th of November 2024. Got the picture clan over there, Ross Miller in the 24 car, Andy Thomas next to us, and Sam sitting on the wheel having a chat. Casey Atkinson, another tail and bend boy, and got the Nuckies next to us over there. So this video brought to you by one of our great sponsors, Jared Lindy, one of the best train drivers in Australia, who's been backing us right from the start. So heaps of thanks to you, Jared. And over 30 winglers here today, so should be a good night. We'll go for a bit of a look around the pits in a minute and show you what other classes are on. So we've got the mod lights over here. <laughs> Get in here, Rob Hardy, all the way from Queensland, fill-in driver in the mod lights. Yep. How you going? Pretty good, mate. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, so uh, Rob Hardy's come down from Queensland on holidays. He races one of these up in Queensland, or he used to, and uh, he's getting a drive in one of the cars tonight. Known Rob for a long time, right back in the Sidewinders Speedway days, and he was a very good uh, so Speedway sidecar rider. So we've got some modified sedans over here. Some more of the wingless. And over in this corner we've got the V6 Sprints. They use the Mitsubishi V6 motor and have a wing. I think they actually use a midget chassis. I'm not real clever with all this stuff. And then down around the corner here we've got the rest of the wingless. So Sam's a bit busy at the moment, but we'll just check the track out. Pretty much the same as normal. They ploughed her up, put a fair bit of water on it. So it looks like it might have a bit of grip in it. And uh, we'll see what happens. Well guys, could be a short video today. Just warm up lap for heat one and pulled infield, so we're not too sure what's going on. Something not quite with this motor. Well, not a good start. Uh, had a plug not working. We put put the heat gun on, and this cylinder here had no heat in it, so we changed the spark plug, started her up, and uh, got a little gauge that you use to see how much heat's getting into the, the exhaust, and that fixed the problem. So going out in his second one so it's going to be a bit of a tough night it's just going to start up now just make sure it's all good so just put all new spark plugs in we'll see how we go in heat two but makes it a, makes it a hard night okay guys so this is the plan for the night it's going to do the next heat just to make sure the car's okay. He's gonna have to go through the B main, and then if he gets through that, obviously the A main starting at the back. And I don't think we're gonna risk it. He's got the Velo 500 down in Adelaide, where he's gotta be down there Wednesday. So uh, I think we're just gonna use this as a bit of a test run the next heat. And uh, don't wanna wreck the car going through a B and then possibly an A, so uh, just make sure that the plugs are all good and the car's running good but he'll probably change his mind six times before then but for now that's the plan get out in this next seat where he's starting off at four and uh, just see if the car's going okay okay guys here we go for his heat number two so more of a test this one to see how the car's going so three back on the inside Change all the plugs as we've told you before. Got Joel Chadwick in front of him. Australian champion a couple of times.
Sydney. So, yeah, we'll see, keep an eye on that one as it unfolds. But here we go. Heat number four of our wingless sprints. On the back straight, that may be Steve Winwood, I think, in the 65. Hey, shiny picture goes over as well. Didn't realise that. again here Ross Miller and Joel Chadwick on the front row a bit of a depleted field only six cars remaining here now that sun should be down shortly still a bit of a pest for us and the drivers at the moment as we get the green flag and we are underway Chadwick be fancying his chances here as he rounds up Roscoe Miller JC into the race lead so, gee, uh, Sam Martin, he desperately needs a, a top three finish here in the 66. The Tatiara Truck and Trailers, number seven of Melissa Crouch. Proving pretty stiff competition, although Sam now clears the young lady. James Rodder back in fifth. And Martin looks as though he's starting to get a bit impatient on Miller. There's Crafter in the 22. Look at Sam Martin, just rips up the inside. Picks up the second spot of Miller. I'm not sure he's going to be able to catch the Stealth Black. Hardly any sponsorship on that SA2, the Jake Ash Armstrong owned, uh, or Ashworth I should say, number two of Joel Chadwick. There's going to be six laps remaining this time past the line. Sam Martin's actually starting to close in on him here. His car a little tight, he cops a push, drifts up towards the fence, and he's coughed up about four car lengths I reckon. As Rodder now looks for the move on Miller, and he moves up to fourth, but Phil, Joel Chadwick, he is looking very strong. Still he is, after his first heat race, and now a good result here in heat number two. But now through turn number three and four, the battle really is now going to be, I think, for that third and fourth place with Melissa Crouch and James Rodder, two former dirt cart racers going at it for third and fourth. And they charge down the back straight away, Sam Martin, has just lost that little edge he had midway through this one. Did have the fastest lap of the race. They still does, but that was done three or four laps ago. And Melissa Crouch now starting to close in on the 66. This time by it'll be two to go for car number two. Joel Chadwick, Martin now just starting to get his mojo back as he runs down the back straight away. Fastest lap of the race that time by. 14.2 for the 66. This time by one to go. For Joel Chadwick, Sam Martin, Melissa Crouch, and James Rodder. Now in the back straight away for the final time. Past the pit turn. Past the Ross Wright Function Centre and the jagged flag away to Joel Chadwick once again here at Murray Bridge. Second across the line will be Sam Martin. Third to Melissa Crouch. Third to James Rodder. A uh, fourth to James Rodder. Fifth to Jamie. Second, nice. car was good. Okay guys, car was pretty good in that heat. 
He is looking on the monitor, he got uh, fastest time in a 14.2, which is probably the quickest he's been around. How'd that feel, Sam? Pretty good? Bit yeah, of a, a little bit too good. It was, um, yeah, wanted to bike on me a couple of times, but it was nice. I just probably driving a bit too hard, and then once I realised it was probably going to be a bit too tight, a bit soft, I sort of steadied up a bit, and the car was still nice, so, no, it's good. Real happy with it, so I'm not going to push my luck. So we're going to pull out, I'm not too sure whether you got that on this camera, my other camera is all strapped up, we were trying to hook the mic up to Sam and I think he forgot to oh, talk. I forgot it was on and I just had too much going through my head. <laughs> too much going through his head so I forgot to talk, so that was our next plan to have him talk during the race, but we'll uh, have it hooked up we'll at the it, Halo we'll 500. And, but uh, yeah, so the reason we're pulling out is he's probably going to be starting out of, I'm guessing, 4 or 5 in the B main. Uh, you got to get through the B main, and then even then you're going to be starting out of the back four, out of the 20 car field in the A main. And if it was a normal meeting and nothing on next week, we'd go for it. But we've got the Velo 500, which is the support to the uh, 410s at the V8 supercars down in Adelaide. It's a specially built track, so you would have, uh, if you're a Speedway followers, you probably would have already seen that by now. Or well, maybe not, I'll probably get this edited this week. So that's a, a big event, and he was lucky enough to be one of the 12 drivers selected for the wingless. The wingless are supporting the big uh, 410 sprint cars, so it should be a big show. I reckon it's going to be packed. They've got seating for about eight to 10,000 people around the man-built or man-made track in the centre field of the V8. So. Uh, we're going to uh, give it a call today. The car was going good. We still had that bit of an oil overflow, but we just took the catch can up to it, which we had last year, and uh, just to catch a little bit of the oil, because it puts out a bit of pressure or something, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Poor Andy, he's in the Velo 500 as well, but he's just blown that motor. But he's already had uh, one of the other drivers come up and uh, got a spare motor he can have a lend off, so he's got a bit of work to get that motor out and the other one in by uh, next Wednesday, which these are pretty easy to change, so a bit of bad luck there for Andy, he had a good second place in his first heat, and then in his uh, next one, puff of blue smoke or white smoke, and bang, she was gone, so uh, very unlucky there, but lucky enough for someone to lend another motor, the car was fast, so I think that's about it, and there's Sam has a bit of a word to you in the shed, if not, we'll see you at the Velo 500.